toes done and the edges slay. Good morning, y'all. It's so early. We're starting the vlog so early this morning. It is 7. 30 just got out of cycle i need to turn my car off because i got literally two miles on here until empty what is up welcome back to another vloggy vlog I need to do some shopping right now i'm at sprouts and then we need to go to target i just need to get like a couple pick up a couple things from target or run into sprouts get some of my snacks i'm gonna bring you guys in there hopefully i can film something um because usually they're like stocking and i'm like Ooh, i get a little scared let's go the skin is looking insane Insanity. Okay, let's go into Sprout. I got my snacks, got some popcorn, my chips. I'm gonna try this keto matcha. They have this one that's like an all purpose, but I want just the pancake mix. So I don't know. I have Sweet Laurel. This is a really clean brand as well. I got four of these Go Macro bars. I really like these, but I got two of the oatmeal chocolate chip because I know I like those, and then one blueberry cashew and then one salted caramel. I went in there for a couple snacks and filled up my whole bag. All right, we're in Target. I got everything I needed, so now I'm searching for stuff I don't need. But I got some more bloom. I can't decide which one I want, the berry or the mango. I love the strawberry kiwi so much. It tastes so good. They give me like boosted immunity, lots of energy. I take these literally every single morning with some orange juice. I love these. I think I'm gonna go for the berry. Or should I do the mango? No, I think I'm going to do the berry. I think they taste so freaking good. I mix it in the morning and I'm like set for the whole freaking day, especially it's so good this week because I'm not drinking coffee. Yeah, pray for me. Okay, this has been helping your girl out. So I think we'll do the berry for sure. She's a target girl. I am getting these, but we're just going to hide those in the box. I don't want people to know I'm doing nasty stuff. This would be such a cute nightstand. Okay. I wonder if they have these in other colors. Oh, this is nice. I like that. I really like these pillows. But my couch is gray. And I feel like does brown go with gray? I like the velvet. I like these ones too. I wanted like something kind of like this. But they don't have two of these. And then these have pumpkins on them. Like their decor section is not giving. Should have went to the big Target. But it's like out the way. I love these chairs though. I need to buy me one of these. Oh, wait till I get a house. It's over for you. Shake that wiggle butt, shake that wiggle butt. Do a little sprout call. I got two of my favorite clean chips. Because sometimes I just want a snack at night. Like at night, I just want a snack. And I was really craving potato chips. So we got some avocado oil. Kind of olive oil. Or of the Go Macro bars. All different. Oh no, these two are oatmeal. And then these two are different ones I haven't tried. They got a little smushed in the bag, but it's okay. Then I got some keto matcha. So it's basically just like a lower sugar matcha. It's also got butter and MCT oil, which is like good for your brain and stuff. So I was like, okay. Period. And look at these. Protein packed waffle sliders. Yeah, and they're gluten free and high protein. Like I'm having one of these today. Are you kidding? I was like, should I get two boxes? But I hate doing that because sometimes I don't end up liking the stuff. So I only got one box, but I feel like I'm gonna like it. Almond flour, I don't know, clean cookies. Super clean ingredients. So got those for when I need a sweet treat. Show you guys my almond flour. Yeah, this is the pancake. This is the pancake mix I use. I put wild blueberries in there and it is delish. Like go get you some of this. It is so good. Another clean brand. I love Sprouts because they have my clean stuff. Some popcorn, the lesser evil. Then I got some of this Evolution Pure Orange Juice. This is what I'm gonna mix with my greens this morning. This stuff is really, really good. Last thing I got was this Nut Pods Creamer. Now, I've tried Nut Pods before. I wasn't crazy about it. But somebody said that this white chocolate one, I like watched this girl's recipe and she said her coffee recipe is like the best. And I was like, I just don't know if I trust it, but... I saw this at Sprouts and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it because she said it was so good. It's got zero sugar in it. Sweetened with stevia, yeah. I like stevia, a lot of people don't because they say it has an aftertaste. I don't feel like it does, but yeah, that was my Sprouts haul. Huh? I got a lot of good stuff. I got a lot of good stuff, I feel like. like
got to get done immediately want to know why because i do not have any my water bottle is in my laundry basket okay i do not have literally any pajamas to wear at night and i hate that i have been wearing like matching okay let me just say something matching pajamas is low-key life-changing so when you go from wearing matching pajamas <laughs> every single night to then just not wearing them, I swear it feels sad. Like life feels sad. Like I feel like my matching pajamas is the only structure that I have. I'm gonna go back to TJ Maxx and get some more pajamas actually because they have, like honestly screw Target. TJ Maxx has way better pajamas. I'm sorry, for way cheaper. That is so cute, like are you kidding? I'm really weird. I feel like nobody else is like this. But I'm extremely weird about what I wear when I sleep. Like, when I watch Love Island and they're all wearing, like, booty shorts and, like, tank tops to sleep in, I'm like, babes, how the hell are you doing that? Like, I just would have to wear, like, shorts and a big t-shirt or just a big t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like, there's just no way that I could wear something tight. I'm, like, so weird about my sleep clothes and weird about my sheets i'm weird about the bed like the feeling of the bed i'm weird about the pillows i am like so so particular about how i sleep because like i cannot fall asleep anywhere you know what i'm saying i'm just not one of those people like on a plane oh, people are crazy these are also good too these little skims these are way too big for me though and they literally won't shrink they're an extra large I, this a lot of skim stuff kind of runs bigger so honestly, because I would say that I'm an extra large, but honestly, I could get away with a medium or a large in these little jumpers. Look, look at how cute she is. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you for waiting for me. You're such a good girl. Let's make some coffee because I'm low-key dying to try out this creamer. And when I lived in Florida, if you live in Tampa or St. Pete, go to The Blend I literally went there like the weekend that it opened. The lady that owns the blend is so stinking sweet and nice. I would always go there and get this specific coffee she would make me. And it was blueberry white chocolate. I walked in, my friend and I, you guys know Lawrence, or maybe you don't. If you've been following me for a really, really long time, you know Lawrence. But me and Lawrence went in there and the owner is so cute. And she was like, what do you want? Like, just literally tell me what you like in a coffee and I'll literally make it for you. I like, I love a blueberry coffee. And she's like, what about, can I make you a blueberry white chocolate? And I was like, that sounds fire. You go ahead, girl. Best coffee I've ever, ever in my life had to this day. Actually, I feel like the La La Land, those two are neck and neck. But yeah, that coffee is so good. I'm telling you guys, if you live in Florida, go to the blend. It's so stinking good. I think they have like three locations and one of them is a drive through So you know what I have here? Some white chocolate, blueberry coffee. I tried this blueberry moaning syrup the other day and I put way, 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 way too much in and I was like, oh, this is nasty. I have to send this back. It literally tastes like medicine. Tell me why I put way too much in. Like, you shouldn't even put a cap full size amount of this in into an espresso. Like, I put way too much in. It tasted like straight garbage, straight medicine. But we're going to try this out today. I kind of want to see what it's given. Usually, I mix the vanilla with the blueberry. And you literally don't need much at all. Like, these syrups, that's what's crazy about these. Is like, I feel like the moaning versus the Tur is it tarani tarani i have one back here yeah tarani i feel like these are really powerful like they're so potent where can i buy the duncan blueberry syrup guys i'm going on day five no starbucks <sighs> we're out here in the trenches <laughs> actually i've been having so much fun like making my stuff at home i'm not gonna lie however I do miss like 
getting up, going and getting my coffee, but also like that wastes so much time for me that like it's so much better just making your coffee at home. So much trial and error before you can make coffee that you actually like. Like I swear to God, just this week was the first time I made a coffee at home that I was like, oh, this is actually good. Like I would actually pay for this at the store, you know? Filling up my Nespresso container. A lot of people put the syrups too in the cup before the espresso, but I find that for me, I don't like it when they're in there first. So I add the syrups and everything after. Now we're gonna throw in a tiny little cap full of my blueberry. Like literally not even a cap full, y'all. Like I'm telling you, the tiniest amount like that is it do you see that that was so tiny a little bit of that then i'm gonna throw in some of this nut pots white chocolate go crazy i can't remember who i think the girl's name was kit i believe she was on like the bachelor or something oh it smells good i don't know i don't remember which flavor of the nut pods i had that i liked i mean that i didn't like she said this one is good, so I'm trusting you, girl. I've seen it pop up in my reels. So, all right, here we go. The influence of the internet, literally. I don't know how much. I'm just going to do like that. Why are there all these bugs around here? Why do we have so many? Look at all these bugs. Oh, I got roaches. What the hell? I need to get some bug traps. Okay, get away from my coffee. Y'all. God, I don't like killing bugs. I hate it, I hate it. I literally cry. Like, I do not like it. It feels so icky to me. Get away from my coffee and I'll let you live. Okay. The tiny little bit, did y'all see? Of the creamer, okay. I'm gonna put in my oat milk. This is my favorite oat milk. Y'all know I'm about the clean shit, but let me tell you something for a second. When I'm gonna have my coffee, yeah, fill it up with preservatives, okay? I don't care. My coffee is the one thing that I do have. All right, let's see maybe about that. And that's literally as much coffee as I'll drink. If I only need a single espresso shot, that's as much as I'll drink. Throw some ice in there. We're gonna throw some ice in there real quick. These cups, I love them because they're so darn cute. But why are they so hard to clean? Oh my God, they're really hard to clean, these cups. I'm literally sitting there struggling for like 20 minutes. Okay, I like my shit real cold, okay. I am not one of those people that can drink room temperature water, no. Everything I drink needs to be actually freezing. Like, it needs to be literally freezing my teeth off. Oh God, it's giving bald. Oh my God, you guys, where I was supposed to get my nails done, the girl that was, I wanted to do them, I read the reviews, she doesn't work there anymore. Now all the reviews on the nail like site are so bad. I'm like, okay, so we're not going there. So I'm gonna have to go to my regular place. I'm just gonna ask for the same lady that did my nails last time because I'm assuming that she's good with designs because she was really putting her whole foot into my little zebras. So, and I can do bio gel then because I was gonna put acrylics on, but no, I might as well just do bio gel. Except I think some of my nails are flaking off a little bit, yeah. Let's try this coffee, see what it's giving. Ready? Oh God, there was a bug in there. Oh God, there was a bug in there. I don't think it was a bug, but there was something in there. Something was in there. Oh, it might've just been a coffee ground. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. But it's good, it's still so good. Honestly, this is pretty good. It's not very sweet. I'm assuming because it's made with stevia. That's why I like stevia. To me, I, I love stevia. Like, I'll choose it over sugar. Even though people say it affects your body the same. Genuinely, I don't feel like that for me. I feel like I like stevia better. I feel like it affects my body better. It doesn't give me any type of crash. It's good. Honestly, I think I might throw a little bit more of this in there. Because it, it needs like a, little, a little something, but it's good. But it's good. I See, I don't like too much of a sugary coffee. Um, but I like, I like a little sweetness, you know? 
So that's good. Okay, she didn't lie. She didn't lie. That's probably the only nut pod that I will continue to buy. Because this, I could drink this every day. Every mother loving day. Like when I tell you my blueberry coffee hits, I know most, like it's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But to me, oh, baby, I'll be drinking this every day. This is my new drink. Okay, nut pods go crazy. All right, y'all. It's literally been four days. Wait. No, it's been three days since I seen you guys. Okay. Last time I talked to you guys, we were getting my nails done. As you can see, <laughs> they're not done. Since deleted the footage of my mental breakdown. Okay, I went to the place that I always go to get my nails done. I think I thought I had got a certain lady who did a really good design on my nails last time. You know what I'm talking about, the, the zebra. So I made an appointment with that same lady or who I thought then when she sits down to do my nails I'm like this is not the same lady and I wanted a design and I kind of knew the lady like wouldn't be able to do the design okay so she starts trying to do hold on let me get my reference photo okay here's my reference photo I'll pop it up on the screen. It's just like a scream. I wanted matte black nails with a scream on one finger. She starts doing it I can tell y'all I can tell like it's not gonna turn out the way I like it so I tell her I'm like it's okay if you can't do it like this girl over here and this guy over here they're both doing scream nails I can literally see them I'll wait for them to do the one nail there's a little bit of a language barrier so I don't think she like understood that I said I would wait for them so she goes and gets somebody else that girl comes back and it's the same girl that did my toes she did a great job of my toes like 10 out of 10 best probably best pedicure I've ever seen although I did get an ingrown toenail <laughs> I had to perform an emergency surgery on my toenail last night have you ever had an ingrown toenail you know how bad they hurt I'm so prone to them like I get them like crazy I used to get them so bad when I was younger and then they kind of stopped but they my toes still do grow in that way so every time I go get them done they always are cutting them she didn't cut it all the way so it left me with an ingrown toenail ingrown toenail hurts worse than all my tattoos all my piercings worse than hemorrhoids period cramps like I'm telling y'all like it is pain I don't know why like your toes is just it's a different type of pain anyways girl starts doing the scream and I'm like okay she she probably knows what she's doing you know what I'm saying it looks oh oh insert photo of my nails okay she tried we love that she tried okay so when I leave like y'all I tried to stick up for myself so many times like I have a problem with sticking up for myself because I feel like Sometimes when I express my opinions or when I say something, people don't listen. Like, it's like a big problem in my life. I'm really trying to get better at it, but it's just like, I'm trying to be firm. You know what I'm saying? And then people are like, okay, hey, don't care what the f you're talking about. I just like, I kept trying to tell her like, okay, I want it like this. Like, it just doesn't look like the photo. Like, and the, and the second girl, she like knew what I was talking about. Like she was listening to me, but she just didn't do it. You know what I mean? Got in the car, cried, went to another place. I called them before and I was like, y'all can do these scream nails, like I need these scream nails, yada yada yada. They say they specialize in designs. <laughs> I paid them to fix my nails and they did the exact same thing and I just was like, I am so over today. I was so hungry. I was so tired. I just was like, let me just pay and let me get the here. I went home and soaked all the nails off. I soaked them all off because the bio gel was messed up. Like, it just wasn't a nail day for me. I when I was here, and the girl was like messing up on my nails. I was paying attention to who does the good designs, right? So I booked an appointment with the girl that does all the girlies designs and she does such a phenomenal job. So if I don't get good nails right now, I might cry. I think that she's gonna do me up. I think she's gonna do a good job. I also asked y'all on Instagram, you guys gave me so many good recommendations. I literally saved so many good nail techs that do designs. Cause I'm like a design girly. I don't like to do like, too like boring of a nail um because i like them to be like super different like i like my nails to be a little bit unique you know what i'm saying so i really have been loving designs you know so i want to like go to people that specialize in designs obviously so anyways yeah i'm back now to get my nails done I'm done with the scream don't want to do her anymore no like i think i'm traumatized of the scream <laughs> i just woke up from a nap 
I'm on my period, babes, <laughs> okay? What in the fuck is taking me out on this period? Like, some periods are just better than others, you know what I mean? Sometimes I'm like, woohoo, like, I'm on top of the world, I can do anything. No, today, I'm like, let me sit, and I'm gonna rot in bed. I didn't even want to, like, show up for my appointment. Genuinely, I was so tired, but... Of course. Of course. Like, you know what it is. I just needed this for my trauma and suffering from getting my nails done last time but are you guys ready for these spooky nails you're not ready for these spooky nails you're not i don't know how i got this to stay last time because now it won't stay <gasps> they're so cute stop don't play with her don't play. jasmine is my new girl okay i got a new bae yes and it's jasmine period kill that wait i have to show you this way hold on like okay spooky nail queen she didn't do that that's me all the cuts is me she literally didn't cut me at all she was like oh my god i'm hurting just looking at them i was like yeah that's what you get when you try to fucking take off some bio gel but i love them they look so stinky good she had both my hands the whole time so i couldn't really film or anything in there but oh my god that's my new girl so cool. oh my god i love them i literally love them much better experience than and she got me y'all i was only in there for an hour she did all this in an hour she's so quick thank god i'm in the car now though i literally had to pick my nose so fucking bad like bitch be for real and it's a bloody booger like ugh. let's go home the vibes are high today is high vibrational okay thursday was a low vibrational day but today is better vibes okay. in the closet let me wipe this. Because there's something in my camera lens. Okay. Hi! Peps! Here comes Pepper, little rat poop. Okay. Amazon package time. I don't even know how the hell they fit everything in this tiny ass little box. Um, Because I think there's like a couple things in here. I don't even know. Okay, probably shouldn't use my nail to open it, but it is what it is. I was going to do my nails myself after that traumatizing experience <laughs> with the screen. So I ordered these like stickers and I tried to send them back because I made an appointment for my nails. So I was like, oh, I don't need the stickers anymore. So, oh, they're so cute, oh, the nail stickers. But I am gonna return them because now I don't need them. <laughs> I got some leggings and this is supposed to be where's the shirt yeah okay this is supposed to be a skims dupe i have looked high and dry for a fucking skims dupe shirt oh this is tiny be for real what size is this small no way they gave me a small i know they didn't get it has an s on it Oh, they sent me the wrong size. I literally ordered a large. Be so fucking for real. <laughs> I can't even try it on now. Yeah, okay. I ordered it in a size large and they sent me a small. So this is supposed to be a Skims dupe. Should I try it on just because? It's not going to fit me because it's a small. But the thought was nice. If they sent me the right size, this would be so fucking lit. Do I look like a small? <laughs> That's cute that you thought that I was skinny. <laughs> but no. But no. And I got some copper color conditioner like color deposit conditioner because my hair i mean you can't really tell in this lighting or maybe you can a little bit but yeah it's obviously not as vibrant as it was when i got it done because like the copper the red like it just never really stays and i'm using color shampoo color conditioner i'm like using all that stuff so she told me that i'd probably have to get a color depositing shampoo so i kind of figured so yeah, this is the same one that I got from Amazon when I was doing my red hair, and it worked really good. So I got the copper. It says cleanse and condition, deposits color pigment, all of that. It's by Care Color, so we're going to use that. Maybe we can do that. Um, I have to go to an event on Wednesday, so maybe Tuesday night we can put some of this in my hair to, like, freshen it up. also got some... I literally got this and this to go together because I just wanted, like, a little black basic for around the house. Like, when I'm just doing stuff around the house all day. These leggings. Or I guess they're like yoga pants. Literally just regular black yoga pants. But I love like when they fold over like this. Anyways, that's probably it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning when we're doing such more. It's going to be so 
busy, but it's gonna be fun. So, outfit of the day. Going. A cute little simple black fit with my Nikes. I wanted to wear my like green little ace hat, but I can't find it. It has my name on it too, it's so cute. This is the fit. Got a little tote bag, we're going to LA because we need to go get a little fitting. It's like a gifting suite for White Fox because they're having a little event tomorrow. So, we gotta go get some clothes and stuff. The Uber, I just called the Uber. Let's see, he's, how far is he? He said it was, it was only two minutes away, so. Need to make sure I have everything. He's 0.7 miles away. Oh no, he's one minute away. Okay, anyways, got my little Amazon glasses. I did a little bit of that color depositing stuff on my hair. So my hair looks a little more gingery for the vibes. Let me fill up a water bottle and bring a snack. Oh God, cause what if they don't have a snack for me? All right. Romeo's here. Let's go. Yeah, Romeo's here. Okay. Romeo, Romeo, where art thou? Guess my art like so scared. My camera, it's a Sony um, ZV10, and then, we're and then it the, flips. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there she's like, I can see me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cute. Thank so you. I, I just got a new one. Yeah, I used to have the Canon G7X. I don't think that one's as good. It like breaks really easily. Yeah. And that one's like a Sony. Lens. A Sony. I think the Sonys are a little bit better than the Canons, if I'm honest. So definitely, if you're looking to get a new camera, get a Sony. Thank you. I'm very excited about this. Perfect. Thank you so much. Try to show it off. I'm out here with my new bestie, Kai. Hi. Yeah, big <laughs> I'm in the middle of making a vlog. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. It's like a so full circle moment. You better say hello. Hi. I've been subscribed to this girl for years. Stop. Don't Just say hi. Don't you see her? Me up like that. You see her? You see me? Say hi. But when you see her? The nicest girl you ever meet. And then you say hi. <laughs> the hell is that? Y'all, I had a fucking morning. I already got a spot on here. Like, be for real. Hold on. Oh my god. I don't know what that is, some sort of oil. I already got a spot on my shirt. This is why I can't have nice things. Like, take everything nice away from me, please. It's 12, okay? And I've had a freaking morning. I have had a motherfucking morning, okay? This shirt is so cute. I got this yesterday, the gifting suite. I'm gonna have to show y'all tonight what we got from the gifting suite. Don't mind that, but yeah, I got this and I got it in a yellow too, but I'll show you guys later. Oh, I also took these sunglasses. Hopefully I was allowed to take them. I don't know, look, they were on the display and I was like, I'm gonna take them. They like literally never invite me to another event ever again. <laughs> this morning I got a matcha. Good thing, good thing, because I need it. Look, the grief stage is crazy because the way that I'm so enraged and pissed off, like all, I wouldn't even say all the time now, but like before, I swear to God, who I, the person I was pre-Harley's death is not the person I am now. And I mean that in the most disrespectful way because bitches can really fucking fight me. The past week, I don't know why so many people have been trying it, like random strangers, okay? I went to Target with my mom the other day. Hi, hello, good morning, by the way. <laughs> I literally just got right into it because I'm so pissed off because I literally just almost had to fight some fucking people at the dog park and which literally ruined my whole fucking day like I was supposed to be having a good day like bitch ah! the other day my mom and I went to Target and this girl she had to be younger than me like I'm sorry she was like no older than like 20 steps right in front of my mom her and her posse like okay she's a, it, like the ringleader the fucking clan member and then she got the two fucking people behind her like standing in a fucking illuminati like babes she steps right in front of my mom goes excuse you ah! Ah! no if harley was still alive you could have got away with that but now I'm gonna have to fight you. Like, there's just no, like, I just can't, the rage that I have is actually crazy. Please let me know if this is normal. Like, so today, I'm gonna take these guys to the dog park thinking like, oh, they're gonna get a run in, yada, yada, yada. And immediately, when I get in there, people cussing me out. Like, who the fuck, people? He's going off on me. Oh my God, he was going the fuck off on me. You could tell the lady that he was with 
did not want to argue like she was like okay like you need to fucking dead it and me and him are just cussing each other out and i'm like and then some other old guy chimes in then i had to fucking cuss him out don't make me cuss you out while you're at the fucking old folks home like please don't make me do that but if you're gonna be fucking disrespectful with me i'm gonna be disrespectful with you then he goes i didn't say it to be mean i don't care so that was my morning <laughs> as you can tell i'm so hyped up and angry like y'all death it changes you, okay? It really takes you out of your motherfucking character, which I don't like. Like, I need to get back to who I fucking was, but I'm tired of people thinking that they can just fucking walk all over me. Don't walk in front of my mom and say fucking excuse you. Bitch, I'll really pummel you to the fucking ground in this Target right now. You need to learn how to walk. Learn how to walk. Today is the White Fox event. I invited my friend Alexa, so I'm gonna put like a little goodie bag for her together right now because they gave us these at the event, but tell me why I don't self tan. I cannot. I will literally look orange. So they gave us like all this stuff and a mitt. Like it's nice shit, but I just feel like I'm scared to use this. <laughs> I just have a fear of looking orange and like I'd rather be pale than orange. Also, I get a really nice color on my own. Like my grandma is so unbelievably tan and you guys have seen my mom my mom tans like crazy too like i tan really well as well i just need to like go outside you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna give this away it's from baddest i guess that's like who it's by and it looks like nice quality stuff like we also have some glow drops i might keep these actually just because my face never matches my body it does like in the camera right now but in person my body is much tanner than my face because i've done so many treatments that like have ripped the pigment off my skin because of my like acne scars so i'm gonna keep these these are like face and body tanning glow drops i'm gonna throw some of these like extra pr things in this bag for my friend oh you know what she wanted a road i'm gonna get her one of the road lip tints i grabbed the juicy tube but i think i'm gonna give her one of the road lip tints so i'm just gonna put some we got some la roche posay little rare beauty little burst mask also a little burst cleansing balm we've got this lottie under eye concealer i've got so many of these every year i buy so many these pumpkin overnight face masks from trader joe's they're really good and then i've got this k18 peptide prep i love this detox shampoo it's like that um, I'm gonna swap this for a road lip tint. I'm gonna put together a bottle of wine for her because they just got a new apartment. I just have bottles and bottles. I think I'm gonna give her this one because this is Gorgina. I love the look of this bottle, this living essence. I'm gonna put it in this little insulated like wine chiller bag. I think my friend is actually coming here right now. My friend I went to, I haven't seen her literally since high school. She like does hair now. You guys know that podcast girl that's like really monotone, but she's done like Lil Yachty, Offset, Drake. I don't know. Her name's like Bobby Booby. I don't know what her name is. I don't know. I don't watch her, but um, yeah, she's like doing, she like did her hair. She did um, Jojo. You know it's too little too late. She did Jojo's hair. She's like a big mega stylist now. So maybe I should get something to give her too. We're going to go to lunch. Oh, this is cute. Wait, what the hell are you, is it just like that? I thought it like, I don't know, that looks kind of weird, huh? I don't know, no, that's fine. Anyways, I'm going to give her this. It's literally just like a wine bag and then it's got a bottle of wine in there because they just got a new apartment and I know that she was really wanting like to get a new apartment because they just got an apartment and moved out of his parents' house. So I wanted to like, do, you know a little something that they could celebrate because i know she was really wanting that like as a milestone for them so yeah that's so cute i love when people reach their their goals <laughs> you know anyways all right so we got this and this for her i'm gonna see her tonight for the event and i think i know what i'm wearing it's between two dresses okay they're both white fox yesterday at the gifting suite i Found a dress that I really liked. I think it looks so bomb on me. Here's my issue. Is everybody gonna be wearing it? Like, was the gifting suites all the same stuff? Because am I gonna show up and like 20 million bitches are wearing the same dress? Do you get what I'm saying? I low key don't like that. 
Like, I also don't care because, like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if we're all wearing the same shit and that really doesn't bother me. But also, it's just kind of like, are we all going to be wearing the same thing? I don't know. But I also want to show you guys what I got from White Fox because it's cute or whatever. She's ready for her cameo. I've never done one. Say hello, Brayden. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to say hi to all my fans. <laughs> I have fans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my um, God. We're at Cheesecake Factory right now. And we're about to grow. We got some, what is this? Avocado egg rolls. Uh, duh. Uh, and then cream uh, cheese Wait, crab. Get it, get it close up. Okay, get it oh, yeah, close wait, up. How do you do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going crazy right there. Oh yeah, hold on. That yeah. actually looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> we got a tiramisu cheesecake. And we Brayden, got some titties. Brayden's on her second drink and you can't tell. Strawberry infused tequila with passion fruit. It's actually so good and I don't like tequila. Oh, that's oh my fucking god. Oh, that's good. Oh, I picked a good one. Oh my god. That's so good, bitch. Oh, my legs. Okay, Brayden's gonna do my hair. Yes, I am, because I'm also a hairstylist. Yeah. yeah, period. Okay, <laughs> we'll drop the, the at if, okay, you're, we don't have, if you're in LA. Well, we don't have one of those, but. We don't have an at? I don't have it. My hair Instagram sucks, okay? Oh you guys my know God. The worst. I know, do you look at I have a stand, but it's downstairs. Do you want me to go get it? We are gonna do, okay. You, you're okay with the Yeah, Walmart? you let them know what we're doing, Brayden. You guys, we're gonna do a little, you She's know, a hairdresser. Little... Remember, you actually did my hair one time. At oh the my school, god! I go yes, yes, yes. So she's actually done my hair before. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do the little braids, okay. slip back, spike bun moment. Okay. I'm trusting Brayden that she knows what she's doing. I do. Some hairstyles don't look good on me because I have a big face, like a big head. It's no. This is gonna be good. She said no. It's gonna look good. Trust me, it is By Brayden. It, it looks so, so good. good. Yeah. Wait, I gotta show wait, them the fit. I? Yeah, okay. Okay, wait. Here. Yeah, okay, look good. Okay. We're gonna do hair. Hold on. Here. Let close. me do a three. Oh, yeah, look, three. We got the beads. We do. We got the beads. We got the bray. Wait, how do you? Oh, it's focused now. Okay, good. The beads and the bray. Yep. And then. We got some wave. Yep. And then we got a little. A little, oh, a little braided. A little braided bun. A little braided bun. Little braid bun. Little braid bun. Ah! I have the fit. Ooh. It's Ooh. Awesome. <laughs> Bottega dupes. Bottega dupe. Van Cleef dupe. dupe. Oh, Those are actually the best Bottega dupes from Ego. Official. Yep. There you go. Van Cleef dupe from Amazon. Yep. Okay. okay. She, she'll link that in the bio. Link, link, link <laughs> in the description. Yeah. They're good because they're only like three inches. Yeah. Which is good because the dogs <laughs> will be barking <laughs> banks by the end of the night. If I have to stand, like, they better have seats. Shout out to, uh, Rare Beauty and Ashley. <laughs> oh, wait, also, look at... How cute. Oh, the Barbie. Oh, I also got to taste... <laughs> wait, 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 let's do it. She's living her best life. I'm living my best life. I've always wanted to be a vlogger, and now... <laughs> we're just gonna... We're gonna go for it. We're gonna... Bye. Are we gonna bring this with you? See y'all there. I'm gonna use my phone. Uh oh <laughs> Is. My voice is still a little bit gone. When was the last time I talked to you guys? Just the last couple weeks have been kind of crazy. That's why this is gonna be like 
a weekly vlog of low-key like two weeks just kind of jumbled all together because the time is just like flying by it's going so fast anyways we got some packages i got this little skin skinceuticals pr package that i opened but i wanted to share it with y'all it's like an advanced eye treatment i'm literally gonna use it like right after i end this because i'm kind of excited their products are really good so i'm thinking that this is probably a bomb eye cream so anyways now we have an amazon package and then a pr package that we're gonna open at first when this amazon and then i have a package downstairs actually that i need to get something from fedex but he literally like just dropped it off like two minutes ago there was one more thing i wanted for my mom's spooky basket because i've completely done her spooky basket except for the fact that it's nothing in it is spooky and you want to know why because she literally doesn't like halloween like it's not that she doesn't like it it's just like me i love anything that's like hocus pocus all these like you know i'd love a pumpkin candle like all this she doesn't care to be like seasonal that's what i'm trying to say like she doesn't care for like seasonal stuff so i have to do her spooky basket like with no seasonal shit you know what i'm saying so anyways i got this for her because as you guys know she's like on a journey i've been putting these shadow work prompts on instagram and people have been loving them like y'all have been fucking eating them up me too i love it i love it all so i literally got this oh a couple of these pieces are fucked up a couple of these pieces of paper well, i guess just right there and right there but what the hell is that anyways this is supposed to be like a really good um book for like set if you know what shadow work is you already know what this is but this like good for personal growth like getting to know yourself getting to unlock your traumas it says unlock the power of self-discovery and inner transformation with the shadow work journal thoughtful insightful prompts exercises and reflections this journal helps you identify and work through the obstacles and limiting beliefs you may be holding back from your true potential so i got one for me so that i don't have to i can just use this instead of my journal and finding prompts online even though i have no problem finding prompts online if you don't want to buy this just look up shadow work prompts you will see so many and you could just do it like on a piece of paper in a journal in your notes in your head whatever you want so got one for me got one for my mommy um and i think it'll be fun i think she'll like this this is like something fun i feel like i'll give her the one that's not messed up or are they all messed up oh yeah there's like a couple pages in here that's like they're just like a little bent but it's fine it is what it is like this this is a pr package this is so exciting when i seen the side of it hello hello like what i use these guys products all the time i don't know if they've seen my videos and just like i don't know who like who put me on this pr this is really exciting for me love these products i really do i genuinely am obsessed i use their hair perfume every single day and you guys know if you watch the like get ready with me's the appointment routine get ready with me's you know what i'm talking about always using this stuff so definitely a staple in the hygiene routine so i'm really excited to see what he said to me. it says our purest honey your strongest hair i love that it comes in like a little box like this i'm like a whore for packaging i actually like love the packaging more than the products themselves a lot of times because i just love seeing what people do with their packaging like if i had a brand the packaging would be so important to me so i love when i see brands like put a lot of effort into their packaging okay Honey infused hair repair serum intense hydration honey drops. Okay, this is exciting. After just one use, it says seals split ends, repairs breakage. Oh, and it's heat protection. I love that people are doing more heat protection in their products now because I need it. I need it. And like a lot of, um, I feel like a lot of hair like thermal protectors smell really bad like the one from Kristen s smells so good that's the one i've been using oh, oh that's so cute like be for real <gasps> should i put some in right now i'll give you guys a little review <laughs> oh it's so interesting it's like jelly -y. oh my god it's like clear with like little beads oh my god i love it it low -key looks like boba it smells just like all their other products. My hair is a little crazy. This is what happens when I don't brush my hair. This is what it really looks like. But if I brush it right out of the shower, it's it's straight. So this is what it actually naturally looks like if I 
I don't brush it. I just put my product in it and go about my business. But if I brush it, then it's straight how it usually looks. But last night, I was tired and didn't brush it. So, voila. Here we go. But it pisses me off, though, because it's big, but it has, like, no, um... Like, it doesn't have a rhyme or reason. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not curly, it's not wavy, and it's not straight. It's kind of just there. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, like, straight with, like... It's just big. Like, I don't know what to, how to describe it. Look, you feel like you need to apply a lot of product. Or maybe I just have a lot of hair. Honestly, that's probably what it is. <laughs> so, I'm going to put it all in here. I love the smell of their products because it's so light. It's not a lot of fragrance. And it smells, it does kind of smell honey-y. Is, is it a honey smell? I don't know if it's a honey smell. Smells so good though. Okay, I'm gonna use this hair repair system drops. It just says intense hydration honey drops. So thank you. I actually don't know how to say this brand. Is it Jisoo? Gisu? Someone explained it to me and I was like, I still don't understand how to say it, but thank you so much. This is so exciting. I'm gonna add this to my daily routine because I love hair products because I'm not somebody that like does my hair all the time. I literally tried to do my hair and my arm started hurting after two minutes. So the girl who actually owns this brand used to follow me on Instagram like years ago. But then she had followed me, so that's tea. From Elf? Shut the fuck up. I'm feeling so blessed all of a sudden. I'm like getting on everybody's PR. It's making me feel good about myself. Thank you guys. Oh, wand so thick, lip so slick. See, I knew it was gonna be something about a lip. It was gonna be something about a lippy. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I go crazy for a good lip. This is gorging. <laughs> if I don't fucking put it in my Okay, I actually need to take photos of all this stuff. Oh my god, let's see what happens when I get too excited. So exciting. Should we try one out? You guys know that I am definitely a clear girl. But some of these actually look so good. Here. Okay, I always do a clear, so let's actually try something else. Let's try pink quartz. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. There's seven colors. But they're like sheer, which I like. Because actually I could probably use all of these. Okay, this is pink quartz. See, it's literally, it's damn near the same as a clear glass. You know what this is giving? Do you know what this is giving? Stop. I actually think I like this formula better. This is 1000% a Dior dupe as fuck. And I actually think I like this formula better because it's not sticky. It's more like an oil instead of a gloss because a lot of glosses are sticky and the Dior one is a tiny bit sticky. I love the Dior one, but it does have a stick to it. And if you know me, that's the reason I don't like the road lips, not the road lips, the road lip tints, let me say, because the peptide is so good. Like I told you guys in the last vlog, my favorite, favorite, favorite ever is the road lip peptide but the tint is a little sticky that's the reason i didn't like those this is the formula is different but these oh <laughs> and you know elf is like so affordable so for this to be a dupe is actually crazy the application is like so similar to it's like the same i wish i had my dior lip oil to like compare i don't know where it is it's somewhere in my like these bags like my bags are all filled with like different types so i never know where certain shit is do you know what i'm saying like every single bag has like a different lip product in it so i don't even i couldn't even tell you where my dior lip oil is but it's somewhere around the town but this one is the darkest shade or like the deepest shade and this is called jam session so this is the pink quartz it's literally damn near clear and this one is their deepest one so it's like a sheer but it's honestly not very much color at all i wouldn't even say these are that pigmented these will go crazy over a lipstick or a lip liner but if you just want like a tiny little touch okay i don't think they're very pigmented though but they're fine so sheer like they're nothing crazy you know like here's the red can you see like look at that it is like the least pigmented ever seen in your life 
it's crazy i love stuff like this i'm very much a sheer person i could do a little bit of color but i can't do too much color unless i'm like going out on the town like the other night was the first night i wore lipstick in so long like i'm just not a lipstick girly like this is much more my speed so these are gonna be like my everydays this morning went and got la la land duh we go literally every friday with my mom and my mom wanted to try the pumpkin cream cheese muffin from starbucks that is so good it's so bomb i have some of the rest of mine i'm gonna eat it like as a dessert but i honestly was pleasantly surprised i did not think it was gonna be that good i don't know why i've never really tried much of starbucks bakery items but i just always felt like they were never gonna be that good but one time i tried we used to get the cheese danish and the cheese danish goes crazy so i kind of figured like it would be good but i just didn't think it would be anything crazy no oh my god it was like so moist so juicy and the cream cheese yeah i love anything with a cream cheese frosting because i'm not a huge frosting person because the cream cheese is like lighter it's like not as sugary you know but oh my god it was so good and the muffin has like little nuts in it ah, i love me some nuts okay so it was just everything about it was so good so if you want to try something new at starbucks it's like fall vibes get the cream cheese pumpkin muffin it is so good and spooky basket and if you're wondering why there's no spooky stuff in there it's because she literally doesn't like halloween it's not that she doesn't like halloween she just doesn't care for like the all the pumpkin stuff and all that so yeah here's her basket she's been on the hunt for some like black deer foams thank god tj maxx had them like i'm shook but yeah i got her some deer foams she got these ones from costco and they were absolutely hideous they look like santa shoes so she returned them so i got her some black deer foams which is like chef's kiss that's like pretty much the only thing she wanted out of this whole basket and i got her some exfoliating gloves a little scalp massager they sell these at target now period i mean not target tj Maxx. sorry i got her the shadow work journal that's that i think that is something that like with her journey and everything that she's doing you know what i mean like this is gonna be so cool i feel like she's gonna like that and then one day we were at target and she saw these like facial globe things okay now i gotta rearrange it these facial ice roller things i had it set up so perfect i gotta fix it again but um yeah loki i want some of these but um I just thought i don't know maybe for like her self-care i don't know my mom is extremely hard to shop for because 
if she wants something, she'll go out and buy it herself. Like, it's really hard to get her stuff because she just has everything. And if she doesn't, ha she's a very simple woman. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I hope she likes it. Yeah, nothing spooky about it in here. But, um... She doesn't care for Halloween stuff, so I know I couldn't get her, like, any Halloween-themed shit. She just wouldn't care for it. I wanted to get a candle, but I guess kind of good I didn't because this everything here fits in the basket perfect. So, yeah. Ah, we're exchanging spooky baskets today. She's going to be here in, like, an hour. So, I wanted to make sure I had it all done. And this, I don't even know where this is from. Probably the dollar store. I'm just, like, reusing it because I already had it. But, Yeah. I like it. It looks good. And when I went to TJ Maxx, I also got these because I didn't, I could not find these last year for like the life of me. They were only $10. These are like 20 bucks on Amazon. The little, um, head earmuffs. So yeah, I'm excited. I wanted these so bad for a fall fit. When it gets cold in LA, I'm popping these out. I don't care. I don't care, I'm popping these out. Now we gotta finish cleaning. Let's get this Sunday reset popping, okay? Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires, I know, I know. You got desires. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You hand me down on my knees, every time I had to talk beside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists, it's a prior. And I got a bitch high every time that I post Damn, it's not bad, they blow my ass I could hear you hating from the back But let's see, I got bad, he got a bad Nigga, my shit, it ain't the bad Nigga, feeling, gotta play a cool Got the jetty, I'ma make a move Breaking records and I'm breaking news Just be pressed, like who you? I get whatever I like This won't bark, but they wanna bite I got too many for using a mic, bitch Think about that when you type Shit, I'm gonna pop you spice And the body gon' eat Want a petite Ass all fat with the waist on sleep Change your hair, pretty cold me How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like if she feelin' hot, then I'm in the bitch rose And I get up inside every time that I post Damn, the party not lit, then I'd rather not go If she feelin' hot, then I'm in the bitch rose And I get up inside every time that I post Damn, look in the mirror, I'm feeling me Stacking my Overnight oats vibe Okay I'm gonna do like Not that much Maybe like that much Cause I don't like too many oats in the morning Make sure I stay thick sure that I'm eating these oats, these chias. Then we got some vanilla. Okay. I want to get like raw vanilla bean and cut it up in here. I think that would taste so good, but we're working with what we've got. So we've got vanilla extract. And then for a touch of sweetness, I'm going to do a... Dad, eh maple syrup this is how air one makes it they put like maple syrup vanilla stuff like that and in the morning we're gonna top it off with some 
of these like honey, these simple meals like honey grams. They're so stinking good. So anyways, I'm gonna top it off just like that. And this is breakfast for the morning. I hope that I like made it okay enough. Like it won't be too watery, but like not too pudding -y. I don't know, I guess we'll see, but this is breakfast for tomorrow. This is what we're gonna top it off with tomorrow. I wish I had some like caramel as well, but I don't. Um, maybe we'll top it off with like some honey and some of these. These are so good. They taste like Teddy Grahams, but they're clean. How can I lose if I'm already chosen? Like, if she feeling hot, then I'm the double frozen. I get up and say every time that I post. Yeah. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she feeling hot, then I'm the double frozen. I get up and say every time that I post.